so many fails. Okay, I made this here, or maybe there. 99 Vitas, the game, shadow box diorama box. <laughs> and I posted a picture on my Instagram. I got people asking me how I made it. And this channel's here so I can show people how I made my projects. I don't have it here with me anymore because I gifted it today to my boyfriend Izzy. That's one of the characters in the game. But the technique can be applied to make other themes of shadow boxes as well. It is easy to make, it just takes a little bit of time to cut everything, but it's easy, I promise. I had lots of fails while doing this because I didn't actually have a plan. I just had the idea in my mind and I started making it without thinking if things would actually work. But it worked out. If you want to see how I made it, just keep watching this video. Okay, so I started up by playing the game. That's what gave me the inspiration to make this diorama. And I'm playing on easy mode, of course. So I played the game, took a few screenshots, and then started working on my shadow box. The frame I'm using is from IKEA and it's called Ribba. I paid 8 Canadian dollars for it, it's a decent price. I started disassembling it all to measure the inside of the frame. So I had to remove this inner frame, and that's what gives the depth of the frame, and got 21.5 by 21.5 centimeters as the inside measurements. I also removed the protective plastic of the clear front. Then I started working on the elements of my shadow box. I printed the characters, their shadows and the logo in thick cardstock using my home inkjet printer. For the background, I got a screenshot of the game in 21.5 by 21.5 centimeters. Okay, I had this idea that I wanted the characters to sit on top of the background, but it was a background. So I had to make it come from the back to the front of the shadow box, and then I wanted the characters to sit on top of that. So I had to make kind of a slope to put the characters on. It will make sense later on, but if you can avoid this idea, it will make your life a lot easier. <laughs> So I stretched the bottom of my screenshot so I would have more of the ground area for my characters to stand on. The background measurements were bigger than regular letter size paper, so I went to my local print shop and had it printed on 11 by 17 inches paper. Then I trimmed the excess out using a craft knife and a ruler. Everything fit perfectly inside my inner frame. I made the ramp that connects the front of the shadow box to the background using the thick cardstock that came with the frame. I cut a piece that fit inside my frame and positioned it at the bottom. Next, it was time to cut all the pieces of the shadow box using scissors, an exacto knife, and a lot of patience, I cut around each pixel of the frame. This is the most time-consuming part. It took two hours to cut everything. After that, I colored the edges of the paper using a black permanent marker. This makes a big difference to the end result and it's super satisfying to do. This was my favorite part. Now, a life-saving hack. For parts that are too fragile, like the tail of the character King here, 
I used a bit of super glue in the back of the paper. This part was so thin that it was almost falling and the super glue strengthened the cardstock. I decided to paint the border of my backing in black. Just in case my background was cut a little smaller, I didn't want the brown of the back being visible. As the frame is black, by painting the backing in black, it would not be noticeable. For the front, I cut a second piece of acetate, the same clear plastic that substitutes the glass on the shadow box. I simply traced around the one that came with the shadow box and cut a second piece in the same dimensions. Now it was time to put everything together. First, hot glued the ramp to the inner frame. I hot glued the sides of the ramp from the back of the frame. Then I sprayed the backing of the frame with a thin layer of spray adhesive. Waited for it to dry a little, then carefully placed the background on the backing of the frame. This spray adhesive thing saved my life. To make the characters stand off from the background, I used a wooden skewer. I cut the skewer to 1 and 2 cm pieces using a dog nail trimmer. In my opinion, this is the best tool to cut skewers. Then hot glued the skewer to the back of the characters and the shadow box using as little hot glue as possible. I also glued the shadow for each character. For the logo, using some double-sided tape, I sticked it to one of my acetate pieces. I placed the second acetate on top of it, making a sandwich with acetate, paper with the logo, and acetate on top. It is a good idea to clean your plastic before putting the shadow box together. Now to finish it, I place the outer frame and done! Okay, so if you made it to the end of this video, probably means you should follow me on Instagram and Twitter and also consider subscribing to this channel that would help me and motivate me to post some more videos here so yeah i'll leave the links and it's free please